I'm Josh. I'm Ken. This is Ken and Josh go to the movies. Today we're going to review Wes Anderson's new movie, The Darjeeling Limited, starring Owen Wilson, Adrian Brody, and Jason Schwartzman. Wes Anderson, man. Fifth movie. This is his fifth movie, and one of the most consistent of American directors. He hasn't released a bad movie so far. Yeah, I agree, but I'd say he's consistent to a fault. Mm -hmm. You pretty much know exactly what you're going to get at this point. And while it's entertaining, if you like it, at a certain point, you kind of have to say that you've seen this already and you don't need to see it again. It's true. There are, if you compare this movie and say The Royal Tenenbaums, which is his masterpiece so far, um, you know, you've got three characters with father issues and they're going in this confined area, kind of confined space, trying to deal with their emotional baggage. You're going on a journey. There's some great music, of course. Of course, some great visuals. Yeah, lots of lots of slow motion cinematography. Yeah, slow motion running. Can I just say that the way the movie starts off, with I'm not going to spoil it, but there's a guy in a car racing to the train station, mm -hmm. and that scene I just really love the way it starts. Just him yeah. running for the train, and then Adrian Brody catches up, and it's just them racing for the train. It's a really great way to start the movie. If you can't figure it out once you watch the movie, the train is an extended metaphor for something. Mm -hmm. You can figure it out. It's actually pretty obvious. Um, Throughout the movie, they're also carrying around a bunch of bags that their father left them after he died. Yep, they're carrying baggage around with them. It's definitely his most on-the-nose movie. It's kind of it a little too obvious. It is. He's not doing anything that he hasn't done before. Yeah. At the same time... It's definitely still funny and entertaining. I was it's never fun. bored. There's lots of good jokes, and yeah. it's, it's affecting, too. You know, it is a story of three brothers, and they... They're well-developed characters with well-developed relationships, and... I will say, though, that don't go in expecting just straight comedy, because about, what, two-thirds of the way in, it takes kind of a dark turn all of a sudden? Mm hmm Do you remember? There, there is a dark part of the movie. Yeah. It's true. There's a... It's just... Yeah, the art direction is, of course, impeccable, mm -hmm. as you would expect from a Wes Anderson movie at this point. Yeah. Yeah, it's just... It's... You know, it's a little bit dry. Yeah. It's... Not that dry is necessarily bad all the time, I'd just say that if you've seen Wes Anderson movies before, then you don't necessarily need to see this because you've seen pretty much everything he's doing here. Mm -hmm. but at the same time, you'd probably enjoy it regardless. If you're expecting him to make another masterpiece, this isn't it. But if you're looking for some good Wes Anderson-y fun times, this, this is, is it. This is it. For another three years, then I'll do another one. Which will probably start Bill Murray. And will hopefully be a masterpiece because he's got another one too, I think. Yeah, it's he's, been he, almost he's, a decade now. Doesn't he? Have, yeah, it's he's too good not to have one. Yeah. So, I gave this movie two bottles of prescription painkillers. Enjoyable stuff. I gave it six and a half baggages out of ten. Awesome. So, thanks for watching. I'm glad I got an Arrested Development reference into this commentary. See if you can spot it. I'm Ken. Thanks for watching. Ken and Josh go to the movies. You didn't have to say your name. I'm Josh. <laughs>